the X-Men. Patrick Stewart is Professor X, Ian McKellen is Magneto, Damon DeVito is Wolverine, Drew Carey is Cyclops, and Meryl Streep is Dark Phoenix. What are you doing? Wolverine asks Magneto in the lab. Working on enhancing my magnetic strips, replied Magneto, tinkering away at some magnets and circuitry. To what extent, asked Wolverine, scratching his head with his claws. Space travel, replied Magneto Khan. That's fiction. Science fiction, said Wolverine. If there's one thing the X-Men are famous for, it's not being involved with science fiction. We live in a world where mutants are freaks. That's what we are, Benito. We're freaks. In the comics, it's hilarious. But in this real world, we're freaks, Magneto. Get that shit out of your head. Magneto tinkered away for months. He had magnetic abilities in his mutant powers. And finding the enhancers working, he had the uh, shuttle built. Professor X looked at it when it was ready to go. So how's it going to work? Get in. Uh, it's G-Force. Pressurized, you won't notice it, said Magneto. The X-Men boarded. The dome of the roof opened. Magneto was at the control pad, and up they went into the air outside of the building, coming up through the dome, hovering in the air. Watch, said Magneto. This planet, tree body, has been well known to scientists for quite a while now. It has a lot of metal on it. We pushed some buttons and a tractor beam was put in place, focusing on a far off distant planet out in the galaxy. They hurtled quickly. The planet pulled the shuttle towards it at an alarming rate. They arrived within four days, faster than the speed of light, but they arrived. Interesting technology, said Professor X when they'd gotten home. Good ores on that planet, said Benito. A boon for humanity something the X-Men have achieved. Apart from the moon, we've landed elsewhere. Bobble of Mars next time, said Professor X. Make it a bit simpler. 